Hey guys, welcome. Yeah, so uh, in this video, I have a really fun, interesting uh, geometry lesson for you, and it is about the centroid of a triangle. And um, I don't know any other context for centroid but a triangle. Um, but yeah, just in case, let's uh, be very precise. Okay, um, so here's how we construct the centroid of a triangle. Let's draw any triangle, any size triangle you want. Um, so it could be acute, obtuse, or a right triangle doesn't matter, so I just drew a random one. And um, uh, these labels on the sides of the triangle are not helpful, but color coding would go a long way in helping you. So uh, let's color code. And so I'm gonna kind of speed through this because you don't need to see this, right? Okay, cool. I just resized our triangle, but otherwise now to construct the centroid, we need to first figure out the midpoint of each uh, of the three sides of the triangle. So the midpoint of AB here is D, and E is the midpoint of BC, and uh, F is the midpoint of AC. Now, uh, what we're going to do is draw this segment uh, from B to F, and this segment from A to E, and this segment from C to D. These three segments are called medians. Every triangle has three medians, and the medians of a triangle meet inside of the triangle. And so, as you can see, by definition, a median is uh, a line segment joining the vertex of a triangle to the midpoint of the opposite side. Yeah, so we've got three medians here. Again, let's get rid of the unhelpful labels, but uh, color code the medians to the opposite side that they're joined to, right? Now, this uh, middle point right here that I've labeled G that I'm going to change into an O, that is a centroid. So O here is a centroid of this triangle. Yeah? Cool. So an easy definition of a centroid is the centroid is the meeting a place of the three medians of a triangle. So that's one easy way to say what a centroid is. But there are a couple of very, very interesting facts about the centroid, and that's what this video is about. Uh, one of them is the fact that the centroid is the center of gravity or the balancing point of this triangle so long as the triangle is made of some material that is of uniform density. So like if you take a cardboard and cut it up into a triangle and draw the three medians, then you will be able to balance that cardboard triangle at the centroid. It's really cool. So you could take the tip of your pencil and balance uh, the triangle at that centroid. Yeah? Okay, cool. And again, the centroid is the meeting place of all three medians. All right, that's neat. Very neat in and of itself. Uh, but yeah, if you do contest math, another property of the centroid that is helpful is this. I resized our triangle so that I could, you know, like measure it and uh, from here to here and from here to here and show that it didn't matter the size. Obviously, as 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 I resize my triangle, the centroid moves so that it stays a centroid. And so this other very neat property, other than being the center of mass or the center of balance, uh, this other neat property of the centroid is that it divides all three medians into a ratio of two to one. So I'm saying AO here is double the size of OE. And you can clearly see that from the measuring tool that I used right here. But in case, you know, your eyes are deceiving you or you don't trust this measuring tool, I've pulled out a calculator so that we could check, uh, in fact, that two times this is equal to this. Obviously, two times uh, this is going to equal this, right? That is two times OF is going to equal BO and uh, two times uh, DO is going to equal OC. But I've only demonstrated on one median, and that clearly sufficed to the um, end that I want here, right? Okay, uh, cool, cool. So let's keep it moving because there's not much else I was going to say here. All right, so the all important, and I think the more important property of the centroid is the fact that it's the center of gravity, the balancing point. And so what I want to do in the rest of this video, other than reveal a final fact at the very end is explain why the centroid is in fact the balancing point of the triangle. So to explain it, this is one one thing that we could do. This is a very intuitive and visual explanation. And that is like if we get rid of the other two medians and just keep this median, notice that on this median, if we draw a segment from um, FE, we can pretend like this is like some thin rod DC although it is clearly a median of our triangle. And then what we're trying to do on this thin rod at DC is we're trying to balance a segment like uh, FE. 
well if fe is balanced on dc then f to this dis this point right here this distance from f to here needs to be the same as this distance from here to here but i claim that it's not just fe in fact even if uh, the segments were longer inf infinitely longer so long as these segments that are being balanced on dc are parallel to the side ab they will all be balanced by dc um okay i needed to point out <laughs> perhaps earlier that this segment needed to be parallel to this in order to the side in order for it to balance on DC but I thought like the visual does a good enough job of convincing you of that and let's do some color coding but otherwise let's uh, put a bunch of other lines on DC and show that these lines are uh, balanced on DC and uh, to convince you completely that they are in fact balanced on DC other than color coding them let me uh, calculate some distances that I said uh, will be like of use so for example if we measure um, KL it needs to equal LM right I just use the measuring tool uh, right here uh, to measure them and you can see that they're the same abusively let's just try this one also and show that uh, this here F to O is the same as O to oh, I can't even see that point but yeah you get it O to E, right? Okay, so yes, this line is in fact a balancing point. Notice that if we drew a bunch of segments just going from this end to this end of the triangle, all parallel to FE, we could fill in the triangle in this manner. That is, you know, I didn't want to take the time, but I could draw like many more lines and fill in the triangle completely so that it's completely shaded. But instead of doing that, let's uh, look at the other median, so the second median right here and show that it too is a balancing point, uh, but only for uh, segments that are parallel to AC and like, you know, uh, equal on either end, right? Like, so yeah, try to balance them basically. Like obviously I could scoot DE so it's off balance, but yeah, like what we said is D to here needs to equal here to E. If we say that DE is balanced on this time BF, the second median, and such is the case. And again, notice that these uh, horizontal lines, if we want to call them that, but lines parallel to AC, we could draw them just from this end to this end of the triangle so that they completely fill in the triangle. Uh, okay, all right, so this is a balancing line. Uh, this is a balancing line, the two medians. And so then, unsurprisingly, the third median is also a balancing line. Just as we have done with the others, let's um, balance on this third median. Let's balance segments, that is. And so the first segment is uh, DF that we balance uh, on the median AE. But yeah, other uh, segments parallel to DF and therefore parallel to BC will also balance on AE. And again, we can exhaustively fill in the triangle with lines like this that just go from one end of the triangle to the other. And so it does not then come as a surprise that we'll, where all three lines that are balancing lines meet, which is the centroid, is the balancing point of the entire triangle. So I hope this like makes a lot of intuitive sense to you. Um, I don't think I would help the discussion if I said any more, but just to highlight the three medians, I've turned them all into black. Um, all three medians um, are black now. But yeah, since each of the three medians is a balancing line um, on uh, segments that are uh, parallel to the uh, required side, then it comes as no surprise that the centroid is the balancing point of the entire triangle. Okay, now, I did say that I would conclude with an interesting last fact, so let's get rid of all of this junk and go back to uh, the triangle with just the three medians. Yeah, okay, cool. Now, one interesting thought is to take the centroid and see if it would be the center of a circle that would catch all three vertices of the triangle. This is what I'm saying that we attempt to do. Let's see if we can draw a circle centered at O and see if the tri if the circle, sorry, centered at O would go through all three vertices of the triangle. As you can see, such is not the case. If the triangle ABC were equilateral, then that would be the case, but that's just an exception, right? We see clearly that O is not the center of the circle that goes through all three vertices of the triangle, unless again the triangle is equilateral. Uh, so uh, in order for us uh, to have a center of a circle that goes through all three of uh, the vertices of a triangle, that center 
cannot be the um, centroid all the time. That center is called a circumcenter. But that's another video. I hope you enjoyed this video. And a fun exercise for you to try is uh, what I said, which is take a cardboard and cut it up into a triangle. Uh, draw the three medians. Uh, and then uh, try to balance it, and you'll see that it does balance. That's really cool, don't you think? All right, um, keep watching. Take care.